Hi Aquarius, this is your reading with me for 2021, so I hope you're doing well. We're going to go from January to December, I'm going to pull a card for each of your months and then also I'm going to do the charm reading as well where we're going to go from January all the way down to February, uh, sorry, January all the way down to December. Did I say February on the first bit as well? I do apologise. We're going to go <laughs> January to December. Could you imagine how long of a year it is if it goes from January to February? Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do all the way from Jan to December and we will see what's coming through Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for you Aquarius. All right, so let's have a look and see. Um, also, just wanted to mention as well, very, very quickly, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, all the information is down in the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing is my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so do check those out as well. Simple. Simple, simple. <laughs> um, so yes, um, the handmade intention bracelets are there. If you want to see the reviews to see how other people have seen results with them, definitely do check out my Etsy store. There's also teas and crystals and face masks. There's also um, pom-poms and tassels, handmade, meditated with and saged. But the review section, definitely do check that out. Okay, so Aquarius, let's see. So for January, we have here the full. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down and desert you. I don't know why that song just came into my mind. You got here the full. You know what's really interesting is you start off a new year and you've got the full. And the full literally is like the representation of a journey, a new path, right? A sort of a sense of adventure. So a lot of you are going into 2021 with a sense of adventure, like this is new, this is exciting. Remember, it's it's mainly just an extension of what has happened previously anyways. Um, but you have this mindset and January here is very much so making you feel quite refreshed. So your energy is quite high. Then for February, you had the um, six of wands. So you're feeling really good at the beginning portion of the year. You've also got here, so March, you've got the Knight of Wands. April, you've got here the Chariot. And then in May, you've got here the Empress. Empress is, of course, ruled by Venus. And Venus rules Libra and, of course, Taurus. And you've got Taurus season in May. June... What do we have for June? June, you've got the King of Wands. Wow, amazing. King of Wands. And then in July, you've got the Hierophant. July, you've got... Hold on a second. So in May, you've got the Empress. In June, you've got the King of Wands. In July, you've got the Hierophant. And in August, you've got the Ace of Cups. There we go. <laughs> September, you've got the moon. October, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in November. And in December, you have the, there's two cards here, but I'm only gonna take that top one. Nine of Wands, okay. So here, here's what's happening, right? January, lots of rejuvenation, a sense of like, yes, this is exciting, new path, you're very excited. And majority of January is you just feeling very excited for the fact that there's this new year and there's new opportunities. And in, in a sense, you're thinking, okay, like things just can't be worse than 2020. And to be honest, you know, your mindset can also help, right? Because that's a that's a form of law of attraction in many ways when, when you're thinking that. Um, but you're just feeling good. And remember the fool is not necessarily the most like responsible person. I'm not saying that you're not responsible, but you know, they just, they just enjoy whatever is in front of them. You know, they enjoy every moment, they enjoy every second. And the fool just finds everything very, very much so like, wow, wow, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, you know, very spontaneous. So you may make certain spontaneous decisions in January. Okay, I'm just saying, just saying, it's your choice, the decisions you make, but I'm just saying. Um, February, 
is a sense of celebration. Something here is going to be celebrated. Could be a birthday, could be engagement, could be a marriage. Something is going to be celebrated and you are going to feel like, wow, this is fun. This is exciting. It's, you know, it's, it's a sense of it covering um, a lot of your February. Remember, we also have Valentine's Day as well. That might just really uplift you as well. Um, March here, you've got here opportunities coming towards you. It can be to do with business, education, and for many of you, it can, can be to do with love. You know, for some of you, it's a continuation of something in February where there was perhaps interest, or it can be someone else coming through and just really expressing their love. Now, for those of you in relationships, it can also showcase an increase in intimacy, an increase in understanding one another. So that's really interesting as well. Um, and also it can show career opportunities coming your way, like I mentioned. So we go to... Um, April. April brings us the chariot, which is a sense of renewed emotional energy, which shows that you're feeling happy, you're feeling confident, you're feeling emotionally quite um, quite good within yourself. You're feeling happy emotionally within yourself. That is the chariot. Now, the chariot also is very much so about traveling. It can be about moving as well, moving jobs, moving houses. So it's just something to keep in mind. Empress, is so nice, right? Empress is to do with love, it's to do with happiness, it's also to do with romantic relationships and children, family. So a lot of emphasis here is really on your family in May and that's coming through so, so strongly. You may be spending more time with your family, you might choose to go visit your family, um, or this could be you choosing to start a family, right? So that's what we've got there, just family, 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 family month. Um, and then you go to June, June is the king of wands, again an increase in um, productivity, an increase in how much you're really focusing on things, right? You're really going towards things, you're making things happen, you have a clear idea, you, you might be starting up your own business, can also stem from this opportunity that you had back in March. It can also very much so be, again, this, whatever this is, it could be a relationship or it could be a career, but it's getting stronger. So that's a really good indication as well. Uh, so things are getting really, really strong. And then finally, you know, you get to July. July with the Hierophant it can indicate uh, marriage. It could also indicate you moving. Okay, so moving houses, moving homes, but this is in a more secure way. So whatever you're doing here, this, I mean, this could also be a journey, remember. I'm reading for a lot of people, so there's a lot of messages coming through. There's a huge journey here that could also mean moving, but here, for example, you might be thinking, okay, I might buy my own place now. You know, So there's a bit of a difference here. Um, so that really is about security and stability. This person here that is coming through quite strong in regards to love could ask to marry you, and you might be like, okay, I'll move in with you, you know? So things like that I'm, I'm really picking up on. Hierophant here is also about career stability as well, which is interesting. Got a lot of stability coming through. And then we get into August. August with the Ace of Cups, emotionally, you're going to feel the best you have felt in a very, very long time. The Ace of Cups is feeling loved like you've never felt loved before. This is also about self-love and self-confidence. Remember the Empress here, it also points to your self-confidence and your self-esteem as well. Really getting very strong with your male or female, of course. And then we get to September, and September with the Moon is showing essentially that Parts of you that perhaps you did not want to acknowledge are coming to the surface and it's about healing those aspects as well. It's about feeling strong and confident in your shadow side and your shadow aspect. It's about trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. You may feel emotionally a little bit down in September and you know what, that's okay because no month is 100% perfect but you're going to lift yourself up really, really strong to the point where you get to October and you're manifesting abundance. There can be a promotion, there could be money coming in, could be inheritance, but there's money and and it's, it's very strong. It can also mean a higher level of commitment, again, in terms of love, which we did pick up on as well. But the Ace of, uh, sorry, Ace of Pentacles here is really showing a lot of stability that comes out of this sort of like little dip that you take in September. In November, you've got here the Queen of Cups, right? You're feeling strong within yourself emotionally. Whatever you learned here about yourself with the moon, you know, you may have felt really emotional. You're learning to embrace your vulnerability and use it as a power and a tool to become stronger within yourself rather than taking it as weakness. And that is really going to be one of your biggest powers is using your vulnerability as a form of strength rather than weakness. It's going to allow you to uplift and be so much stronger within yourself. You're going to find yourself feeling really, really quite quite good in that sense. You know, that's just what I want to say. But also you've got here the nine of wands and the nine of wands is super, super strong because the nine of wands here is quite literally showcasing um, this energy of you just going out, doing your own thing. The nine of wands is you wondering, pondering, thinking, 
contemplating like, okay, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? And then you kind of take one idea and you kind of just run with it. And so in December, you're, you're getting a lot of ideas, a lot of flow as to what it is that you want to do. And you're taking action. You know, this is a year of action. It's like, and action, you know, it's like one of those things. So there you go. You know, that's what it is. Um, so let's go to your charm reading. They keep falling through my hand, which is uh, quite interesting. We haven't actually got very many charms for your reading. They just kept falling through my hand, which I thought was really interesting. So maybe it's just meant to be that the, the charms that you do have are very select and very few. So we haven't got anything for January or February, but we do have in March, all right, which I think is really interesting because you've got the um, Knight of Wands, right? Marching along. Like there's things, there's, there's proactive movement there. You've got here the shoe, okay? So this is really about things moving. It's also about um, perhaps you training for something, which I also think is quite interesting. Um, so you've got the shoe there. It could be you, you know, running with things, going with things. Then we also have in April, of course, we've got the chariot. We have got here the whale, which I think is really interesting because, you know, it's like emotional energy and it's also about movement. Um, could be, you know, transporting yourself or transporting large items, which again, is very interesting because you have got moving and traveling. Um, so just take that as there. You've also got a lot of water energy. So you might be doing some water sports, for example, or swimming, things like that. Um, we get to May and we've got here the... Leo energy, this is really about strength, personal confidence, self-esteem, you know, Empress here, you're owning it, you're ruling, really um, feeling so strong within yourself, and you may be dealing with a Leo, it's interesting that that came through, but just going to say, uh, well, you might have Leo somewhere else in your chart, just saying, just saying, so then we've got June, July, and August, there's nothing in there, September here, of course, See, you're blooming, you're growing, right? Whatever you're learning here about yourself with your shadow self, you are learning and blooming, bl blooming, blooming at the same time. So you're becoming much, much stronger within yourself and don't doubt yourself. That's what I would say. Then in October, you've got here the charm which says, my love is alive. Wow, isn't that amazing? So of course, you know, that's with the ace of um, pentacles in October. So, I um, mean, you know, it's like a little coin here where things are coming together, things are progressing in your love life, also in your terms of your career as well. And that's what we have for you, Aquarius. So this is your reading. I really hope it helps you. I hope it gives you lots of clarity, information and knowledge. Take care, stay safe. And this is pretty much what we have got. So yeah. Ta-da! Um, this is it. So, you know, check out the description box below um, for information on private paid readings, premium giveaway, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Take care, take care. Oh, wow, look, look. Hold, hold on a second. I hope I'm not too late if I try and do it this way. There we go. It's 11.11 .11 on my screen as well, which is really, really lovely. Um, so... I saw it on there and then I was like, let me just grab my phone as well. Um, so yeah, this is your reading. Take care, stay safe. Um, and all the information is always in the description box below for your convenience, as I always mention as well. Um, so yes, do take care, everyone. Goodbye.